Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. You are watching Holo Holo Adventures. Today's video, I'm taking you all to San Antonio Zoo. The cost to attend San Antonio Zoo standard admission for 12 and up, it does cost $31.99. For three to 11 years old, it is $27.99 and children under three are free. If you do plan to go to the San Antonio Zoo twice or more, I do recommend a membership. One of the memberships costs $36, which is an amazing deal if you consider that a $31 admission is only a $5 difference. So consider doing a membership and you can go pretty much all year round. And you also get 10% off on food and drinks as well as merchandise inside the zoo. The hours of the zoo is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Parking is free and they have tons of parking around the zoo. There are a wide variety of animals all over the zoo. From the blue entrance, there is the grotto that has the bears. Moving on, there is the Asian forest that has the Komodo dragons. And as you continue on, you have the cat grotto with all of the cats. You also have a reptile area where you can see the snakes. In the savanna section, you can see camels, zebra, giraffes, rhinos. And in the Africa section, you can see wild dogs, hippos. You can also see um, an alligator. And then in the big cat valley, which is more in the back. You can also find lions and tigers, kangaroos, and in the wild Australia section, you'll find kangaroos, Australian birds, as well as tortoises and crocodiles. Here you see an eagle, and the eagle is located in the birds of the world section that is not too far away from the carousel. Around the birds of the world area, there is a bistro where you can eat, use the bathroom, and then of course the carousel for kids for the entertainment. If you also want to just relax in an air conditioned room, there is a 4D theater in the area. And if you're just a little bit tired, you can hang out at the Great Lawn in the grassy area. Or if you really, really want to get your kids to just run around and play, there is a little tiny tot nature area for kids to play. At the Great Lawn, there is a butterfly rainforest section, so don't forget to check that area out as well. Some tips for visiting the San Antonio Zoo, especially when you're visiting in the summer, is try to come first thing in the morning where it's not as hot. It is hot. You're talking about 100 degree weather here in San Antonio in the summer, and there is minimal shade. You can easily get dehydrated quickly. You are able to bring your own drink, so feel free, bring all the bottled water you need to. And if you're able to, take an umbrella. And if you have a portable fan or a misting fan, take it with you as well because you are going to need it. I also recommend packing your own snacks. There is areas all over the zoo where you can eat, but of course, like anything, they get expensive. So I would bring snacks. Another tip is to bring your change. There is different areas of the zoo where you can purchase food for animals such as the camel and the fishes, but you do need coins in order to get those foods. So bring your coins. Also, if you want to feed the giraffe, you will have to pay extra for this interactive service. So bring a little bit more money if you're hoping to do a little more at the zoo. One of the most important things I'd like to mention too about the San Antonio Zoo 
is that you have to pre-purchase your tickets. So what basically what that means is you need to buy your tickets online and what they'll do is they'll scan it for you at the entrance. You are not able to buy tickets physically at the zoo. One of my favorite areas has to be looking at the Komodo dragon. I couldn't believe how large that this Komodo dragon is. You can find it at the Asian forest. The next one that I was very impressed with is this snake right here. I was amazed at how ginormous this snake is. And it is a python. Um, who would have known that they get this big? This is my favorite area in the zoo because it is air conditioned and of course there's sea life. I love to see the different variety of fishes and animals both from freshwater and seawater. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.